Why, hello there. Would you want to go full-time Web3? Well, now's your chance. Morales is hiring a technical YouTube content creator. If you have programming skills, feel comfortable explaining Web3 concepts in front of a camera, and want to work fully remote, there's a link in the description, so go ahead and apply. Now, back to the regular programming. What is up, Morales community? Welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the Get Wallet Native Balance Endpoint from the Morales EVM API. It's very popular amongst our users because it's quite powerful. It allows you to query any EVM chain, and for that network, get any specified wallet's native balance. So whether you're on an Ethereum network, you'd get Ethereum tokens. If you're on the Avalanche network, you'd get the Avalanche tokens. So. I've created this little dApp over here where we can try it out. Let's open my notes to get a wallet address. So let's copy this, for example, paste that in there, and then query the current tokens on the Ethereum network this wallet holds. Get the balance. So currently they hold 0 0.3 Ethereum tokens on the Ethereum network. But you also can provide a two block parameter, which allows you to query back in time to a specific block and see the balance at that time. So this is, for example, a great way to create a portfolio tracker or whatever you'd like. So let's open my notes here on January 12th, 2022, uh, the height of the crypto markets, we had this block over here. So let's copy it from here, paste it in here and get the balance. And they seem to have 7.96 Ethereum back then. So a cool little quirky app. And we can also, of course, check different chains. So Binance Smart Chain, they had five 0.10 BSC tokens on January 12th, 2021. So if this sounds interesting to you, stay stuck in and let's dive into it. Hey, I'm Jay, your Morales instructor from beautiful Finland. I got into crypto in 2020 and I've been building in the space ever since. In my free time, I enjoy running and at the gym and in the summer, you'll definitely find me at the golf course. Now let's get stuck in and learn about Web3. All right, getting started here on the Morales documentation, you can find it at docs.morales.io and in the API reference page in the sidebar, if you go ahead and check the balance API, it has one endpoint, get balanced by wallet. And as I said, a very simple API endpoint, get the native balance for a specific wallet address. Also, you can test it out here on the documentation page and you'll see all your past requests over here in the top. But taking a closer look at actually the parameters this endpoint takes, it takes one required parameter, which is the wallet address. By default, it will query the Ethereum chain, but you can also provide any of the supported chains, which you can find here on the left sidebar, supported chains, and passing any of these chain IDs in the hex format. You see we have Ethereum test networks like Gurley and Sepolia. Then we have Polygon, its test network Mumbai, and all these other EVM chains are supported. So very, very powerful. Let's jump back in to the Get Balanced by Wallet API and look at the other parameters. So the provider URL, this is only for anyone developing in a local dev chain, but mostly people will use the two block parameter. So the two block parameter allows you to check the wallet addresses native balance to any specific block in the past. So this is very powerful if you want to see the development of your portfolio in the native currencies. But that's basically it. Also here in the right, you see all the different languages you can make Morales API calls in. There's loads of different languages are supported because Morales is back end first, but we'll be using Node.js. So as long as you have the Morales SDK installed, you can make the call by using the EVM API balance method from the Morales SDK and get the native balance endpoint from there passing the parameters you wish. So that's it from the documentation side. And that's now let's go check out Visual Studio Code where I've set up a simple backend using Node.js and Express and a simple front end using React to see how making that request would work. Radio. So here in Visual Studio Code, I have my files for my backend, which is running on port 3000 and is a Node.js Express app. And we've installed the Morales SDK, which we're utilizing over here. It only has one endpoint, which is a get endpoint to the balance route. And we can see at the bottom over here, whenever we run the index.js file, we first initialize Morales with our unique private API key. You can find your own API key by logging into your Morales admin dashboard and navigating to the Web3 API tab where you can get your unique API key. This is just for testing purposes for me. And then we initialize the Node.js Express app by listening to the port we defined 3000. But now taking a closer look at this endpoint, here what we do is as long as there are query parameters passed from our React front end, we get those query parameters, we initialize a variable called balance, 
And if the query parameters include a two block, as this wasn't a required parameter, we make the get native balance endpoint call with these parameters, the address, the chain, and the two block parameter that was set in our React front end in the text input fields. Now, if we don't get a two block, so we just want to look at the current balance, we just make the same call with only the address and chain that are set in the front end. Now then, whatever the response from Morales is, we take the raw format of that and send that back to our front end in this result variable over here. So now taking a closer look at our React front end, opening our app.js file in which it resides, we essentially have a couple of variables over here where we store on the client side the address, chain, and two block we want to query. And these we are setting over here in our input fields for our wallet address, for our two block address. And then we have a select input where we've decided to query for Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, Polygon, and Avalanche chains. But you could add any chains you are interested in. Now, also at the top, we have a bu button called get balance, which triggers the fetch balance function. And let's look at the fetch balance function. Over here, we initialize a response variable and if we have set a two block variable in our React front end, we send a request to our back end, which is running on localhost 3000, to the balance endpoint with the parameters of the address chain and two block using the Axios library. If we don't have a two block parameter, we just send the same request without the two block parameter. And all we do now is we're console logging the response and we're setting a balance variable, which we display at the bottom of the page. So we'll check this out. So we should have this app running on localhost 3001. And these repositories will be in the link in the description if you want to check them out. So open up Google Chrome. So this is what you saw at the start as well, our sample little dApp. We can provide in our input fields our wallet address we're interested in if we're interested in looking at the past. So a two block parameter and then a chain between Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, Polygon and Avalanche. Let's stick with Ethereum for now. Open up our cheat sheet over here and get one wallet address from over here. Copy that. Chuck it into the wallet field and we can go ahead and open up our console like so and then press the get balance button. This should console log us with the data and we also get the native balance for the Ethereum network for this wallet, which is 75.98 Ethereum, quite a lot. So if we look at the object we received from our backend, which is making that Morales API call, we have this data object over here, which has the result. And in the result object, it has the balance with all the decimals included. So that is the reason if we go check out our React app, when we get that response, we're looking into the data results balance and dividing by those decimals and then getting to the two decimal points to just present it nicely in our app. Now you can just feel free to test it out. You can always feel free to change the two block parameter. Go ahead and check, for example, June 8th, 2021. Copy that from there. Paste it over here in the two block parameter as we get the balance. Now this wallet only had six Ethereum back in June 8th, 2021. So in over a year's time, they've accumulated more than 70 Ethereum. How cool is that? We can check the different wallets. So if we remove the two block parameter, check out, for example, Binance Smart Chain, get the balance. They don't have any assets on Binance Smart Chain. What about Polygon? Three Matic tokens on the Polygon network and any Avalanche tokens on the Avalanche network no avalanche tokens on the avalanche network. So hopefully this was a clear informative video on how to use the get wallet native balance endpoint. If you like these videos, please leave a like and subscribe to the Morales community channel and I'll catch you in the next one.